right. Hello and welcome to another expert inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you from bright and sunny San Diego as usual. And today I'm joined by Alric Heck, who is in lovely Boston. How are you doing, Alric? Doing very well. Thank you for having me on, John. Absolutely. So Alric is a YouTube ads expert and founder of Ad Outreach. Uh, you started many, many years ago now on YouTube and you built AppFind, which was one of the, which had over 400,000 subscribers. Uh, and you've helped companies over the years really optimize their, their YouTube ads. And what we're going to talk about today is how to generate consistent leads and sales using YouTube ads. So Alric, just to start a, a, and baseline this a little bit, I think today there's still a lot of people who don't really understand the power of YouTube. You know, they think it's great, mm -hmm. maybe they use it, but for instance, they probably don't understand that it's the second largest search engine, right? That it's used to that level every day and it's used by business people to that extent too. Exactly. And there was actually, you know, a study that, that Google put out, right? Because obviously Google, Google owns mm -hmm. YouTube, um, where they ran a study and over 68% of people make purchase decisions, <clears throat> excuse me, based on YouTube. And so right. the reason they were able to see that, and, and, and that always, you know, it really surprises people. They're like, what 68%? But think about the last time you bought a smartphone, you looked it up mm -hmm. on YouTube. You bought, you know, maybe even a car, right? You, you looked that up on YouTube. Products, you're looking that up on YouTube. Services, you might be looking up, you know, the, the, the best type of service. You might be looking up, you know, what to expect on YouTube. And so just think about that, right? People are looking these things up all the time. And I use really the, the phone and car example a lot because odds are if you've bought a phone recently, you bought a car recently, or even a camera, whatever it is, yeah. you've looked up a video on YouTube. And so if you could do the same thing for your business and not just in the product space, also, you know, higher ticket businesses as well, you know, coaches, consultants, service, service providers, right? You can really um, start reaching people where they're, they're searching instead of just browsing mm -hmm. like on Facebook. So where would be uh, one of the first places to start if you, if, if there's somebody watching this as a, a, as a business, a B2B business, and they're contemplating, they're saying, okay, well, I don't really understand YouTube. I don't really understand mm -hmm. YouTube ads, but it sounds like this is something I should explore. So where would be a good starting point? Absolutely. And so and in a second, we'll, we'll talk about some resources that, that I can give yeah. uh, your sure. listeners and, and viewers as well. But before we, we, we go into that, um, I always like to talk, there's two sides of it. One is the mm -hmm. ad, right? So the ad's yeah. very important. I'm actually going to break down the three components of a winning YouTube ad that we found. And then the second part is the targeting. And we have, you know, a unique method of targeting. We call it our 3D uh, YouTube targeting strategy, right? That has three dimensions to it. And I'll break down that as well. So three points on each, uh, the two main keys to Excellent. YouTube ads. If you want, uh, I'm happy yeah. to kind of just dive in. Go ahead. Excellent. So on the, on the video side, we found that actually a longer video is going to work better um, for the majority of products, services, you know, whatever you happen to be selling. And the reason for that is if you think about, you know, oftentimes on TV, they're constrained by like 30 second or minute long commercials, but you can't get a lot across. It's more of a branding play, right? There's not a direct call to action. Whereas on YouTube, you have the benefit of having a longer ad. And one of the things that, that your listeners may not know is that you only pay on YouTube if somebody watches 30 seconds of the ad. So that's somebody who's genuinely interested. They skip in that five to 30 second range or five to 29 seconds. You don't actually pay for it. You mm -hmm. only pay if they watch at least 30 seconds, which means you're only paying for people that are really interested, really, yeah, actually yeah. invested. And so what we like to do is there's three components. It starts out with a hook. So you want to capture people's attention, your ideal customer right? You know, basically pull them in. You also want to push away somebody who's not the right customer, right? You want to actually mm -hmm. have those people skip. So that way you're not paying for the people who aren't a good fit and you're only paying for those who are a good fit. Obviously, you know, obviously talking about even, even on the sales side, you only want to really, yeah. you want to make sure the people you get on the phone with, right? Let's say you're running an application mm -hmm. funnel, which we do lots of, right? So YouTube ad to some kind of freebie, usually like a free training or something like that, or a webinar, and then to an, you know, application. That's actually what we do. Uh, ourselves, sure. um, you want to make sure that you have people going into the funnel that are going to purchase, going to be interested. And so by pulling the right person and pushing the wrong person away, you're pre-qualifying. Then on the video, what you want to do is a second component. This is the largest section. This is what makes our videos a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So we recommend, you know, anywhere from two to five minutes as, as an ad right. length. 
Um, mm-hmm. We're going to do, you know, in the middle, a solid two to three minutes of educational content providing value, mm-hmm. right? And so, you know, in kind of the space, especially in the sales space, right, where, where you're probably selling something, if you're selling on the phone, it's a little bit higher ticket, right? Yeah. What you want to do is really illustrate yourself or the product or the service as being the, the actual solution that they're looking for on the ad. You don't want to wait, you know, as with sales, right? The pre-frame is everything. Sure, yeah, yeah, and so, exactly. And so you, you don't want to just wait until they go all the way through your funnel or even, even your webinar, you know, definitely not the sales call for, for them to know the benefits. So you want to mm-hmm. dive into that and show yourself as the expert uh, and your solution as, as pre, you know, preeminent in that middle section, the educate section. Yeah. And by the way, just, just to underline that, I think it's a, it's a good takeaway for people about the fact that you said it's a longer ad, it's just mm-hmm. educational content. I think people have to realize that because most people grew up on ads thinking ads are like, uh, you know, 10 second mm-hmm. to 30 second blast and everything. But the reality is, think about your own behavior on YouTube. What's, what's it popular on YouTube? Like long form podcasting. Mm-hmm. People have an appetite for good information and will actually watch something of a significant length if it, it piques their interest sufficiently. Exactly. Exactly. And that's exactly right. And so then once you, once you, you know, they're listening, right. You, you now have somebody that's interested and so you have that extra time. So if you don't use that time, then you're actually missing out on being able to pre-frame people, you know, even before they go into the, into the funnel. And that's why, you know, if, if you look at, you know, webinar funnels, it's the same with other things, but you know, our show up rates for, for, you know, ourselves and clients, you know, are well over, you know, usually over 60%. Whereas, you know, people running on Facebook nowadays, people are lucky to get like 25%, right? Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. you know, people are not as invested, right? You need to mm-hmm. give them a little bit of the carrot so that they're going to want to, you know, really actually go down the rest of the, the process. And then, of course, the, the third component is very simple. It's the call to action. You want to make it very easy and simple what they need to do next and let them know exactly what to uh, expect so there's not any surprises. So it's right, punk, right. educate, call to action. And that's, you know, what we found is, is, is a winning, uh, winning YouTube ad. Yeah. And, and again, just to underline that, because I do think that that's what there's a certain expectation, uh, you know, psychological expectation, if you like, by users that they will get something educational. Uh, so the educate uh, component is important that they will get some educational information, not just a pitch, right? I mean, mm-hmm. because that's where they're not going to YouTube to watch the equivalent of TV commercials, right? They're going to get some educational information of some kind. Exactly, exactly. And then if you're showing in the ad that you're willing to provide that information on the ad, mm-hmm. people are going to trust your, your your free information, your free training, your free webinar a lot more because they're like, well, if he shared this much on the ad, then they're going to share that much in the, in the rest of the, the process. Right. And so once you have the ad, that's the first component. The second component is creating a winning, you know, campaign on YouTube mm-hmm. and the targeting. And we'll give you some resources for that in a second um, that we have for you. But what we've found is, is there's actually a three uh, dimensional approach that we take that works the best on YouTube. But before I get in and get into that, I want to talk about what most people do. Most people are targeting in two dimensions. And I'll give the example for Facebook and I'll give the example for people who just start out on YouTube but they don't really follow, you know, kind of a strategy. And so, on Facebook, the two dimensions that you have is you have demographics, so in, in general, you know, who somebody is, where they're located, their income, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. And then you're combining that with interests and affinities, right? So pages that they've liked, you know, different behaviors that they've had on the platform. You're really like targeting those two dimensions. And you really have to have the algorithm fill in the rest with, you know, what is that person doing? Are they most likely? And so that's where you run into some problems there. And obviously, I never say Facebook doesn't work because it does. Mm, but sure. one of the reasons we found YouTube works better is, is because you have that element of intent, people searching, mm-hmm. you know, actually looking things up. Um, but people go too far in the other direction on YouTube. When they start out, they're running demographics. So, you know, who somebody is, that type of thing. And then they're layering in um, just videos. Right. So right. basically intent. So videos that somebody's watching oftentimes are doing placement ads. Now, placement ads can be really successful, but the problem is they're harder to scale. And so if people mm-hmm. are just selecting just a few different videos they want to run their ads in front of. You could pick a lot of low hanging fruit, but you're not going to be able to get the rest of the tree. Right. And exactly. And so you're really only getting, you know, the, the, the bottom hanging fruit there. Um, and so what people run into is like, this is great, but I can't scale. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And so then maybe they start to put in keywords and we recommend, you know, yeah. you know, keywords or topics. And so now they have demographics and keywords. That's still only two dimensions, right? And the problem there is it's definitely much more scalable, but it's not targeted enough because mm-hmm. now they have entire keywords. They don't have anything else defining the person. And so we found the best, most scalable campaigns are three dimensions. You take the demographics, you take the, um, the kind of the, the larger kind of keyword. And we, we run some placement, right? But, but those are less scalable. So, you know, keywords, topics, right? Specific sets of videos. And then we actually are able to layer in on YouTube interests and affinities. And this is what a lot of people right. don't know is you can target people based on Google searches they've done before, right? Types mm. of sites they've visited in the past. Um, you know, different affinities based on their search habits on, on Google and, and what sites they, they browse. And so if you take that, now you have three dimensions that's what's going to allow you to reach the right person and then also at the same time scale those campaigns. So that's that's what we found is is the best, you know, most converting uh, YouTube ad campaign. Yeah, and there's there's a, there's a lot in there. I um, I think one of the things that it's useful for people to understand and I think that is the the demographics on YouTube because people don't realize how broad that demographic is, right? I mean, there's statistics mm-hmm. to say what is it um uh, 90% of 18 to 44 year old American internet users watch videos on YouTube. I mean, that's a massive yep. demographic, right? Uh, so there, there are so many people out there watching it. And I think sometimes, um, particularly probably people of my generation, I mean, I've been on YouTube for a long time, so I'm a little bit different, but a lot of people of my generation probably dismiss YouTube a little bit as being, well, that's what the millennials use or mm-hmm. whatever, when the reality is completely different. Exactly. And, and that's the other thing, too, is if you think about the videos you do watch, right, especially, mm-hmm. you know, if, 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 if you're, um, you know, not really consuming it for entertainment, right, the yeah. videos that you watch are those educational videos, are mm-hmm. videos on business, or, or you're looking up different things. You don't see it as the culture of YouTube, which is, you know, is a little bit yeah. more younger, right? Sure. But you see it more of the utilization of YouTube. You're watching that video, you're watching different things, right? So, you know, recently, I, I, I watched, you know, an old Uh, motivational video of like Tony Robbins, right? You're watching Mm -hmm. that on YouTube. Some people don't think about that as YouTube, but imagine, right? You can run an ad and I, I even saw it. It wasn't one of, one of my clients, but it's so funny when I see some, Mm -hmm. you know, my own clients ads, but um, you know, there's an ad in front of that video that's, that's relating to motivation and business and things like that. And that's the perfect time because somebody is in that mindset. They're like, I want to get motivated. I want to watch this video, you know, on Tony Robbins, if you have a motivated you know, a uh, piece of uh, thing that you're looking to sell, right, or provide, then you yeah. can put that in front of it. And it's the same thing that applies, right? There's all this different content on YouTube. And so you can get your ad in front of that video. Yeah. And I think the other challenge that people have is, uh, is on the other side is the, is the vastness of it. And as you said, what you have outlined here is a very good strategy, the three-dimensional strategy for being able to target properly. Because I think that's what probably uh, creates some reluctance in a lot of people is that they just don't know. It's like, it looks so big and I could spend a lot of money and get nowhere because I don't really know how to navigate through this kind of labyrinth of, of content. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's where, you know, having a roadmap and, and having, you know, a guide there. And, and, and that's something that we obviously, you know, help our clients with, but we also have some resources as well that can at least get you pointed in the right direction um, which, you know, I'm obviously happy to, to share with, yeah. with all the listeners as well, if you would like. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we will have all of Alric's information in his contributor bio, his links to his site and where you can find out, uh, out more. So in the last few moments we have, Alric, what, what are some other just quick pieces of advice you would give to people who are going to dip, thinking of dipping their toes in the YouTube ad world? Absolutely. So the biggest thing that I would say is that natural converts. And one of the biggest things that I see that people, you know, one of the reasons they don't go into YouTube is they think they need this big production studio. You know, they need to hire all these videographers, different things. You don't need that, right? Natural is actually going to sell better. So you could literally take your iPhone, you could take a tool, it's called a gimbal that stabilizes your phone, right? You could take that and you could go out and record uh, a video in your office on the street on the beach. We've had people record it on the beach, right? There's all kinds of different ways that you can film a video. Just take a morning or an afternoon um, and really just follow that process. A hook, capturing people. You're, you're basically you know, calling out some of the pain points, the problems. You're educating. You're providing some value. You're showing what you have to offer. And then you have a call to action. And you could go and you could film an ad 
Um, and, and, you know, we've had clients walking down the beach. They filmed an ad. They thought they were going to have to redo it, you know, with a, a production studio. I told them, mm-hmm. listen, this is good enough. They, they didn't quite believe me until they literally used that ad made over $3 million, right? right. And so it's one of those things where, you know, natural works because people like to connect with somebody else, having your face there. And you don't have to be, you, you know, like the most um, articulate or the best looking person. You just need to be natural. You need to obviously just do a few takes, right, to, to get the best mm-hmm. one. But then from there, you can take that, run that as an ad, find where your audience is, um, and that's going to be the most valuable. And so, you know, we, we have, a, a, you know, kind of a, a page, you know, free gift page. It's adoutreach.com slash gift. Uh, I'm sure that'll Excellent. be in the links as well. And, yeah. and we have some resources on, on what that looks like. Yeah. And again, just to underline that, I think authenticity goes a long way because there's so much, uh, you know, there's, there's so much that's, uh, shall we say, uh, manufactured and uh, stylized and maybe dressed up a little bit. I think there's a real there's a real hunger for authenticity. So to your point is you don't have to you don't have to hire a Hollywood production company to produce your video. A little bit of authenticity goes a long way. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, before we go, Alric, uh, as I said, all your information will be in the in your contributor bio. But if you want to tell people a little bit more about yourself before we go, go ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. So obviously, you know, what I love to do is help, you know, business owners like yourself or, or people who are looking to scale and grow uh, with YouTube ads. Um, we have a program that's hands on it's a hybrid program. So we have trainings on how all of this works. But we're also helping you hands on as well and walking you through it, helping you set up your campaigns got an in-house copywriter that will actually help you write your script, everything we talked about. And then we're helping you make sure that you have those three dimensions and the right targeting. And so we found that's the best way to do it so that you're learning, but you're also having somebody guide you step by step at the same time. That's what's going to provide the most results long term. And so if you want access, we have um, you know a webinar that dives into all of this. We have a training for high ticket sales uh, with YouTube ads. We've helped our clients generate over eight figures uh, in sales on YouTube. Uh, we also have a free Facebook group. All of that is adoutreach.com slash gift. It'll be down there in the links as well. And I'm looking forward to uh, to speaking with you and, and helping you with your YouTube ads. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online, Sales Magazine, and Pipeliner CRM. Alric Heck, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I'll see you all for another expert interview really soon. Thank you. Thanks.